As I'm sure a lot of you know already, this season is turning out to be an absolute cracker. It kicked off with some great flatfish catches and a lot of big sand is following. But this is now a proper, proper summer season with diamonds, duck bulls, ribbon tails, thorn tails, honeycombs, sandies, you name it, they're all on the board. Even the Zambezis are prolific at Mtanzini. Guys, what better fishing can we ask for? Natal is cooking. And not only Natal, we have seen some fantastic bronze whalers being caught in the whole eastern, southern and western Cape. With some fantastic flatfish catches as well. Alright guys, we've got this lovely sand shark. Um, my first one of the summer, I'm very happy with this. There's a nice clean hook in the uh, corner of the mouth. Uh, we're gonna set this one free. has been busy the last two weeks with several great catches. Sand sharks, ragged tooths, and several other flatfish. And again, Dawa Tournament 15 foot. This rod is unbelievable. Uh, anyone looking for those big summer fish, gotta have it. Seven to nine ounce. And I'm on my Dawa Saltus 8000. And we're on again. Landed a nice raggy earlier. This fish has got a bit of weight to it. Our angler says no thank you to a great Zambezi battle. Well done, Rock. Still the best part of catching these fish are releasing them afterwards. Morning guys, uh, we're on the fourth day of northeasterly. We've got a west coming through later. I've got Roly in the back there. That's me. We got Mark driving. Guys. His beautiful Dawa hat. And we got Craig in the back. Okay. His hat's in the boot. And uh, we're on our way to Port Durnford. Port Durnford, the diamonds are wild. Um, we got the call this morning say come, come, come. So we're on the way there and we're going to have some flapping fun. And today it's all about the guys in the car getting their fish and getting their fish out and return safely. My first bait is a bonny head. I don't think there's too many guys on the beach with a bonny, that's why I'm going to try that. I was lucky to get some from the Kingfisher. Um, I put it onto a dangle, I'm going to clip my 8 uh, ounce sinker on here. So, throwing an 8 ounce sinker, bonny head on the new Dawa tournament, 15 foot. I'm loving this new stick. And I uh, paired that up with my Dawa Saltist 8000. This reel's bulletproof, I've caught uh, a lot of good fish in it. And this is my first throw at Port Durnford. We've got beautiful conditions here today at Port Durnford. I've got Roly joining me on the beach. There's another guy fighting a fish behind him. Rock's also been putting some of the other guys into good fish. And everyone who's been fortunate enough to get stuck into some diamond smashes, it's really something you need to put on the list. This allows the opportunity to catch several good sized fish in one morning. And as you can see, several diamonds were caught this morning. And prenland has been as busy with some really great diamond catches and a fantastic duck bull. Definitely one of the nicest flat fish to catch. And then Mario's barred from Southern Cape with a real good bronze whaler. Dean's also been getting some of the action on the south coast from Port Edward. And nothing new to Dean Reddy making a real pig of himself on the north coast of Natal. Okay viewers, so uh, I threw a red eye bait uh, on my soldiers medium heavy. 
and the Salter 6,548 pound Cobra bread. This is the second good honey I've got on the same setup. This one's probably around 40 kilos, 40, 45 kilos. So that's it, magic setup. Does the job. Okay, we're gonna release this bugger. Some real great catches. Honeycombs, sandies, diamonds, you name it. Now for years we've known that Zululand is probably under the top three areas in South Africa when it comes to producing summer fish. Even on the edible side. This season we have seen some real monster sandies already. And Marcus as per usual dominating the back line. Jeremy and Tyron Bain got some really great fish off the boat as well as the beaches as well. Jeremy Bain has been pretty busy with all the flatfish up north as well as some deep sea fishing with some great catches coming in. Of course Tyron is not standing back and have caught some really good deep sea fish. Right guys, here's the study I'm looking at this got now. Let's go jiggy. Let's get it back. See guys. So guys, fishing with the... Fishing with the Vardal 4000H, 30 by Gatorade, the salt is 7 foot spinning rod. Awesome fun. As well as great rock and surf catches. Now it's absolutely awesome when the fish come on like this. That gives us a true opportunity to really put all the tackle to the test. And as you guys might have seen already, the Grinder Elite has become quite the talked about rod. On at Nike at Pochelstein, busy getting a pool. And it is a smooth out. Then Anand has been really busy in the Cape with a lot of great catches as well as putting a lot of other anglers into fish. As it guys, I've just given Rochelle my rod here. Let her have a bit of uh, feeling, a bit of fun, of fighting a bronzy. Yeah, she's one of our junior anglers here in the West Province. So yeah, she's all excited. There's a dad coaching her a little bit. Awesome. Thank you Anand for all the great work you're doing in the Cape. Now the fish stands no chance of this tackle. How's it guys? I'm on ya, <laughs> again. This time I'm using my Sortiga 60 LD, the two speed. This is a monster of the wheels. And uh, yeah, I'm using the extra heavy, the extra heavy salt just a multiplier rod. Uh, yeah, I've got this thing on low ratio here, and I'm just really, this is a monster of the wheel. It's just coming. I'm on ya. Yeah. yeah, broken road. I think it's a nice bronzy. I'm using my the new uh, tournament diver rod. It's not yet out. So I'm putting it to the test. And my Max Seal DG8000. Woo! This fish is flying. Awesome feeling. Got 40 pound J braid, yeah. So it's and of course when Anand saw all the summer fish, he couldn't contain himself and hopped on an aeroplane all the way to Zululand to come and join in the fun year as well. Then on the freshwater side, Anthony and Brendan Fraser got stuck into some really good freshwater fish. Prize grass carp catches. Now I want to have what Jace is taking. He's been fishing non-stop with some unbelievable catches. Fish after fish. To name some in one day, he managed to get something like 16 diamonds. Well done Jace. 
Linton, as always, a rod in the water almost every day with some really good catches. And Michael Roger also getting stuck into several diamonds. Dalmac answered with a nice raggy. And a giant guitarfish. Mo getting some nice catches. And as you know, Ray Thompson making every day count adding and adding those catches to the scoreboard. Well done to all the ambassadors for some really great catches. And to all our viewers, thank you for watching and subscribing to ASFN. Remember to click on the bell to get instant notifications when new material is loaded. It's been a great year of fishing and make sure you send all your catches in as well to grindelite at asfn.co.za.